David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another ink review. Today I have a fairly new ink for you from the company KWZ, and that ink is called Sheen Machine. KWZ is based in Poland near Warsaw, and the KWZ is actually the initials of the founder's name, which is Konrad Wojtek Zerwoski. I hope I got that right. Uh, the company was founded back in 2012. Uh, at the time, Conrad was a PhD student in polymer chemistry and organic synthesis. He was a fountain pen user and wasn't very pleased with the inks that he could get his hands on, so he decided to try making some of his own. Uh, after a couple of years of development and testing, some KWZ ink happened to get in the hands of some North Americans who were active on message boards and social media, and the ink quickly took off. Uh, that's how ink tends to be. Everyone's always looking for that new, exciting ink company. When one is discovered, they become a hot commodity. But then, the question is whether or not the company's product is any good, and if it will have any staying power. Since it's been five years and KWZ is still going strong, I think that answers those questions. The ink I have for you today is one of their most recent releases, and the which is aptly named Sheen Machine, an Uber Sheen dark blue ink. So in order to take a closer look at this Sheen Machine, please join me over here at Camera 2. So here we have the ink. This is KWZ Sheen Machine. Uh, it comes in a very nice 60 milliliter bottle. Um, I just I always like KWZ's bottles. It has a nice wide top and you can get any nib in here at all. And then I also like the graphic here on the front. It's uh, a nib that's part happy and then has a little bit of a sinister side to it. So uh, I think that's kind of a cool graphic. Here's what the ink looks like. You can see here that there is a great deal of sheen to it, especially at the top of the sample. In regard to some other heavy sheening inks, uh, here it is with Vinta Blue Blood. Uh, here it is with a Diamine Skull and Roses. This whole music set is really nice, and I like just about every one of those colors. Kind of a lighter sheening ink uh, is Ackerman Shocking Blue. Uh, here's one of the Diamine Inkvent calendar uh, inks, which is Diamine uh, Jack Frost. Uh, here it is with Organic Studio Walden Pond, which is a green ink, but you can see is virtually all sheen. Uh, then this is Bung Box Omazaki, and then finally Mont Blanc Leo Tolstoy. In regard to how this ink swabs on 52 gram Tomoe River paper, uh, I kind of did it three times here. This first time was a rather heavy, uh, saturated uh, swab. Uh, this is a very thick ink, and so it kind of went on very heavy. And so then this second time, I tried to do it just a little bit lighter because I just thought it was just a very heavy. And then this third time is just a smear. And you can see, especially on this Tomoe River paper, that it's virtually all sheen, that there's sheen across just about everything. So this paper really brings out the sheen in this ink. In regard to bleed through, uh, that on the lighter one, there was a little bit of ghosting, there was a little bit of bleed through on some of the other ones, uh, but considering the amount of ink that I put on here, uh, then it was really nothing to be concerned about. So here is KWZ Sheen Machine. Uh, this is Rhodia 80 gram paper, and in regard to ghosting and bleed through, I said it was medium. Uh, there's another ink sample here, and you can see that there is uh, just a very tiny bit of ghosting, but there's no bleed through whatsoever. Uh, I said the shade is low. This is a very saturated ink, so it's pretty solid. And then in regard to sheen, I will admit it is a sheen machine. Okay, if you have seen any of my previous ink reviews, you will know that I like to discuss movies during the writing sample. Since KWZ is a Polish company, I thought it'd be appropriate to discuss the crowning achievement of the Polish director Krzysztof Kieslowski, which uh, would be his Three Colors trilogy. Blue, white, and red. Uh, okay, this is going to be re a review where I'm going to let my film nerd flag fly. Uh, these films are mainly in French, uh, but some Polish as well. Uh, it's funny because they actually ended up being in French because the financial backing Kislowski received to make these films came from French sources. Uh, each of these films are named for the colors of the French flag and are loosely based on one of the three political ideas in the motto of the French Republic, 
liberty, equality, and fraternity. Uh, each of these three films tackle uh, a different genre. Uh, blue has been interpreted as an anti-tragedy, white as an anti-comedy, and red as an anti-romance. So, in regard to the pens that I'm going to be using today, I thought I would use blue, white, and red pens. So, the first pen that I'm going to be using is a blue pen, which is the Hammered Metal Japan Blue. So, we have the Wancher. I'll say Wancher Sailor. that it was a partnership between them, and it is the Japan Blue. And this is a hard medium nib, which is basically almost like a Western fine. In regard to a white pen, uh, what I have is the Visconti Blue Ripple. Now I know blue is in the name and there is a blue overlay, but it's an overlay over some really cool white material with some really nice pearlescent features. This is one of those pens that I uh, recently acquired and I need to review sometime because I think it is just very, very cool. But in regard to white, we have the Visconti And this is the uh, Blue Ripple. And then finally, in regard to red, I have a pen that you've seen a lot lately on my channel, uh, which is one that I created with Jonathan Brooks, or Jonathan Brooks created it, and I just basically uh, mildly supervised him, uh, which is the Carolina Pen Company, and we're calling this model the Padre Sunset. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, my interview with Jonathan Brooks and how he actually made the acrylic uh, for this pen and how he created this pen, then uh, that was only, I can put a link in the notes below, but it was something that was just a couple of weeks ago on my channel that was a lot of fun to put together and I think it was very interesting to see a master craftsman at work. Uh, this one, I forgot, this uh, Blue Ripple, this one was a, uh, a medium nib but it really writes almost more like a broad and we're going to call this the Carolina Pen Company. And this is the Padre Sunset. And this is a medium steel nib. Okay, in regard to the films, I uh, wanted to just write a little bit about each film. So, in regard to the first film, which was Blue, we'll have a little bit of a writing sample. And like I said, Blue is going to be a film that loosely equates to Liberty. And then a little bit of a writing sample. I said, this film depicts a wife dealing with tremendous loss. Uh, played by the actress Juliette Binoche, the woman has to deal with her past as well as the past of her loved ones. Uh, now, I know that doesn't sound very uh, interesting or a lot of these descriptions are going to sound very cliche, uh, but these are three amazing films that I highly recommend. In regard to red, you know what? I actually have these films out of order. It went blue, white, and then red, but I have them out of order here. So red equated to equality. No, I'm sorry, fraternity. And a little synopsis about this film.
I said uh, Red, which is fraternity, uh, is a, a movie where a woman accidentally hits a dog with her car and it leads her on a path that changes her life. Again, these are very, kind of very cliche and they don't sound necessarily like the most interesting things, but believe me, these are really fascinating films. And then finally, we have White. A little bit of a hard start there. I do find that this ink dries out a little bit. So if it's sitting in the nib for a while, that it might dry out a little bit. And white is uh, equality. I said, a man loses his wife, his home, and his job, and friends, and struggles to rebuild his life. And believe it or not, this is the film that is uh, somewhat of a comedy. And Red is more of kind of a romance film. And then Blue is uh, more, of the, uh, uh, or the, more of the tragedy, or more of a tragic film. Uh, that Red was actually Kieslowski's final film uh, of his life, and it was nominated for three Academy Awards, including Best Director for Kieslowski himself. Uh, he ended up losing out to Robert Zemeckis for Forrest Gump. Uh, I would say that the flow for this ink is wet. Uh, in regard to drying time, uh, it does take about 15 to 30 seconds in order for this ink to dry. And I do find that it kind of stays a little bit on the sticky side. Uh, I said I find the ink to be very saturated, very beautiful, but also very messy. Beware. Uh, you know those inks that seem like whenever you open up the bottle, somehow they get all over your hands and all over your desk and all over the floor and just all over everything, even though you're being really careful with it? For me, this is one of those inks, so I just have to be very careful with it. Uh, and I said here also that this ink from KWZ is truly a sheen machine. Okay, let's take a look at how this performs for a uh, water test of waterproofness. And while we're doing that, let's take a look at some chromatography. Now, this was something that I found to be really interesting because normally the colors really separate when you do the chromatography. And you can see here that it really didn't separate that much. The water ended up just kind of pushing the, uh, uh, the ink around. And this is what it ended up being. So the, the colors really didn't separate. It is really, really saturated. So I'm curious to see. First of all, I haven't had a, uh, a, a sample like this chromatography kind of bend around like that. I thought that was kind of interesting. But I'm curious to see what kind of waterproof uh, factors this has and see how waterproof it really is. The fact that I can see a lot of blue here leads me to believe that it's not very waterproof. But let's take a look and... And see. So yeah, that it fairly dissolved and that uh, it did make a little bit of a mess there. But you could see how when you wipe it off, it uh, does make a little bit of a mess. You got to be careful not to touch that and get it on your hands because it's just an ink that you need to be careful with. So there you have KWZ Sheen Machine. Uh, thanks go out to KWZ for providing this ink for review. Uh, this bottle here retails for $15, which I feel is a fair price for this 60 milliliter bottle. And it is available from a number of retailers worldwide. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.